Today I want to talk about how to link your bank accounts and credit cards on QuickBooks Online. Um, by doing this you'll be able to save a ton of time for your business as you continue forward and you won't waste more time manually inputting transactions. To link your bank account the first thing you need to do is come over to the left uh, toolbar over here and click on transactions and then select banking. And then you will want to click on this blue button that says add account and it will pull up this place where you can type in uh, your bank name in order to pull transactions from that bank. If you're linking a credit card, uh, like such as American Express, all you have to do is type in American Express, as you can see from this number four right here. Um, in this case, we're going to be pulling information from Utah Community Credit Union. So we type it in and click Find. It pulls it up, and we can select on it. And it will ask for our user ID and our password. We'll put that in sample co and then the password sample co1 we click login and then we just have to wait after it pulls it up we have our business checking and our universal savings that pulled in from our bank so now we need to choose which account we want to link this with so I can select business checking and then over here I can select my QuickBooks account. If you have not yet created an account for this you can click add new and that will pull up the window for you to create your new account. In this case I've already created a sample checking account that I want to link this with. And I will do the same with universal savings. I will link that with sample savings. And also just so you notice up here QuickBooks automatically will download up to 90 days of transactions. Let's say that you've already downloaded, you've already imported all of your data through the last month, then you may only need 30 days of transactions um, to avoid having duplicate transactions in there. If that's the case, just click on need a shorter date range and you can select however many days you want to have imported. In this case, we're just going to bring in the full 90 days. And after we have that selected, we click connect. And during this part, QuickBooks will communicate with a, with your bank and it will pull in the transactions from that 90-day period. This step may take several minutes to to clean up all of the transactions and to pull all of them into QuickBooks. Okay, so now we can see that they have successfully downloaded our transactions and we can see it pulled in our balances from the business checking and the universal savings account. When that's done, click in the bottom right where it says, I'm done, let's go. Now after the transactions are pulled into here, it's really simple to use. We can come over here and click on sample checking and see a list of the transactions that it pulled in. Let's say for example that we know that this deposit of $23.97 is just from cells. So we can click on it, and down here it says add, find match, or transfer. Find match will be used if you've already input this uh, transaction manually into QuickBooks, and I'll show a quick example of that after this. In this case, we are going to say that this is cells from Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and we will start to type in cells and select cells of product income. After we click add, that transaction is now added into our QuickBooks file. Here we have Smith's Food, and notice it says match. This shows that QuickBooks is recognizing that we've already input manually input a transaction with the same similar dollar or with the same dollar amount and a similar date range. If we click on this, we can see that it's trying to match it with check number one made out to Smith's Food for $1.23. If this is not the correct match and I say this isn't correct, I can click on Add and I can choose a different category to put it to. I could stick it into whatever account I needed. However, in this case, I know that this is the correct match, so I can just click the blue button that says Match. By that, the transaction is matched and the transaction that I had manually input is inputted is now linked with this transaction that the bank imported. By linking your bank accounts and credit cards with QuickBooks Online, you can make your bookkeeping go so much faster and be mo much more accurate, and it's something that I highly recommend that everyone does.